Since the dawn of the space era, mankind has built some pretty incredible rockets, powerful enough to reach space and beyond. Let's take a look at 15 of the most powerful rockets ever launched. Number 15. Falcon Heavy Manufactured by the private aerospace company SpaceX, the Falcon Heavy is a reusable heavy lift launch vehicle that's currently the most powerful rocket in operation, in terms of payload capacity. The maiden launch of the Falcon Heavy occurred on February 6, 2018. One interesting thing about its launch is that it carried a Tesla electric car on board as a dummy payload. Inside the car sat a mannequin known as Starman. Starman and his Tesla are currently orbiting the Sun. The Falcon Heavy was designed to carry humans into outer space. However, SpaceX said that it will instead use its upcoming Starship to bring humans to space. Number 14. Saturn V The Saturn V was probably the most legendary and recognizable rocket ship to ever be built. This heavy lift launch vehicle was used during the Apollo program in the 60s and 70s, which was the program during which the United States landed humans on the surface of the moon. Thanks to the Saturn V, mankind took its first steps on the moon on July 21, 1969. The Saturn V stood 111 meters tall, towering over the Statue of Liberty, and generated more than 7 million pounds of thrust with its rocket engines. Number 13. Starship not only did SpaceX name their rocket system a word so iconic in science fiction, but it looks like something from a video game or space opera. And it's no wonder the Starship is being spearheaded by SpaceX founder Elon Musk, an eccentric billionaire who many consider to be the real-life Tony Stark. Starship stands 400 feet tall and has a mass of 11 million pounds. SpaceX's aim, however ambitious, is to send cargo-carrying Starships to Mars in 2022. In 2024, human astronauts will follow to colonize the Red Planet. In a few generations, there may be humans who have never been to Earth. Number 12. SLS – Space Launch System After the retirement of the legendary space shuttle program in 2011, NASA entered development on a super-heavy-lift expendable launch vehicle, known as the Space Launch System, or SLS for short. Since its inception, the cost of the project has cost the U.S. government nearly $20 billion. With that price tag, some say the government should leave rocket ship development to private companies such as SpaceX. Still, the SLS program is extremely impressive. It is intended to serve as a flagship vehicle for the American exploration of deep space, and will include crewed missions to the moon as well as Mars. The SLS will potentially be the most powerful rocket to have ever been built once it's completed. It's intended to begin test launching by the end of 2021. The SLS is a massive rocket, standing about 365 feet tall, with a diameter of over 8 meters, and it will launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Number 11. Long March 9 With the United States and Russia having led space exploration since its inception, China fully intends on catching up. As one of the only countries, perhaps the only country, that can rival the U.S. in terms of technology, military, and economy, the last thing China wants is to fall behind its competitors in the space race. That's why China has committed to the development of the Long March 9, a super-heavy launch vehicle being designed for moon landings and beyond. This monster of a rocket is currently being researched and developed by Chinese engineers, and its first test flight is intended to occur sometime around the year 2030. China's current largest rocket, the Long March 5, is 57 meters long and weighs 870 metric tons. Surpassing its predecessor, the Long March 9 will be 93 meters long and will possibly be the first ship to send Chinese astronauts to the moon. Number 10. New Glenn Aerospace manufacturer Blue Origin is now developing a rocket known as New Glenn which is intended to be launched as part of a NASA group of commercial spacecraft that could send non-astronaut humans to outer space. While New Glenn will be groundbreaking in terms of spaceflight, Blue Origin is not new to aerospace. It has already flown suborbital vehicles numerous times, but the success of the company should come as no surprise to anyone, as it was founded by Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. The New Glenn spacecraft is a two-stage booster rocket that can lift up to 14 tons. The rocket itself stands over 300 feet tall. Blue Origin aims to launch the first flight of New Glenn in 2021. Furthermore, this incredible spacecraft will be one of the first commercial rockets to debut and will be a reusable rocket. Number 9. Yenisei After the fall of the Soviet Union between 1988 and 1991, Soviet government rocket and space exploration projects fell to the side, many of them remaining out of use even today. 
that after the formation of a new Russian government, Russian space development has sought to revive the industry. The super-heavy launch vehicle known as Yenisei is notable for being the first Russian spacecraft developed since the fall of the USSR. The project began in June of 2017 as a part of the Russian lunar program. The project's official roadmap shows that it could complete technical design by the end of 2021, with initial flight tests occurring in 2028. The cost of the Yenisei is approximated to be an astonishing $20 billion, and it's no surprise that Russia is fully willing to foot the bill, as Russia attempts to emerge as a counterpart superpower to the United States, which formed an official space force in 2019, it will need to be competitive in outer space going into the new decade. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Energia Designed by NPO Energia for the Soviet Union, the Energia spacecraft was a super heavy lift launch vehicle and one of the largest spaceships ever built. This human-rated multi-purpose rocket ship stood at a height of 58 meters and weighed more than 5 million pounds. It had a payload to low Earth orbit capacity of 220,000 pounds. Due to its extreme weight, the rocket ship utilized four strap-on rocket boosters fueled by kerosene, as well as a central core stage fueled by liquid hydrogen. The rocket's launch site was the Banakur Cosmodrome, located in the Russian-leased plot of land in southern Kazakhstan. Its first flight occurred in 1987 and retiring after its last flight in 1988, although attempts have been made to revive the vessel. The Energia retired primarily due to the collapse of the Soviet Union and the formation of a new Russian government that never brought the shuttle project back into play. Number 7. Juno Juno isn't like the rest of the rockets on this list. It's actually a space probe rather than a full-on rocket ship. And while Juno lifts off from a launch pad in a blaze of smoke and fire just like any others, it's totally different. While rocket ships are meant to carry humans into outer space, space probes go alone as humans watch through monitors on Earth. While other rockets stay in space by orbiting celestial bodies, space probes do not orbit. Rather, they head directly towards a body such as a planet or moon in order to collect data and take photos. Built by Lockheed Martin and operated by the Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA, Juno was launched in 2011, headed for Jupiter. About five years later, the probe arrived at the gas giant. Its goal is to measure the material composition, gravity, and magnetic fields of Jupiter. Once Juno completes its mission, it will intentionally descend and be lost to Jupiter's atmosphere. The space probe is powered by solar panels and is only the second spacecraft to orbit Jupiter following the Galileo orbiter. Number 6. Parker Solar Probe Like the Juno spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe is also a space probe that is intended to travel directly at a celestial body to collect data. But while Juno was launched to capture data from the gas giant Jupiter, the Parker Solar Probe is a piece of equipment that was launched directly into the Sun. Named after scientist Eugene Newman Parker, it's the first spacecraft named after a living person. NASA sent the probe off in 2018 with the goal of collecting data and making observations about the Sun's outer corona, which is essentially an aura of plasma. Currently, the Parker Solar Probe has come closer to the Sun than any other man-made object. The probe will get as close as 4.3 million miles away from the Sun. By 2025, it will be traveling at 0.064% the speed of light, or 430,000 miles per hour. The spacecraft had a launch mass of over 1,500 pounds and a payload mass of only about 110 pounds. Its planned mission duration is seven years, and the Parker Solar Probe project has a cost of about $1.5 million and was built by physicists at John Hopkins University. Number 5. Traveler 4 While there are plenty of magnificent rockets that cost hundreds of millions of dollars and lift off from gigantic launch pads, the hobby known as amateur rocketry shouldn't be forgotten when thinking of incredible human feats. The hobby involves everyday citizens building their own rockets, engines, and launch pads, often from their own backyards or fields. While it usually takes billions in government funding, countless engineers and lifelong astronauts to send a rocket into space, a group of students were able to get theirs past the atmosphere's edge. The rocket was only 13 feet long and weighed about 300 pounds. It was created by a team of 10 students from the University of Southern California's Rocket Propulsion Lab. Known as the Traveler 4, the rocket lifted off at 7.30 a.m. from New Mexico. The powerful rocket reached an altitude of over 339,000 feet and peaked at over 3,300 miles an hour. 
the Traveler 4 achieved its goal of passing the Karman Line, which is the official designation for when the atmosphere ends and outer space begins. It's only the second amateur rocket to have ever breached this barrier. Number 4. Ares-1 With its first prototype launch in 2009, the Ares-1 was an incredible crew launch vehicle that served as the flagship vessel of NASA's Constellation program. The Constellation program was an ambitious roadmap of goals that NASA set out to accomplish. Its task included completing the International Space Station and returning to the Moon by 2020, with an ultimate goal of sending humans to Mars. Considering the Constellation program's end game was to send human to Mars, the name of the program's flagship vessel makes sense. The spaceship is named after the Greek god of war, Ares, whose Roman equivalent is known as Mars. The Ares-1 crew launch vehicle was intended to launch the Orion spacecraft into orbit once the space shuttle program was ended in 2011. NASA praises Ares-1 for its safety measures, reliability, and efficiency. Unfortunately, the Constellation program and its ship was cancelled in October 2010 by President Obama with the passage of the 2011 U.S. budget. Since the program was shelved, the U.S. has its new space launch system, and with private companies such as SpaceX aiming to reach Mars themselves, it doesn't seem like the Constellation program will ever be back. Number 3. Space Shuttle Although its name might not be the most creative among rocket ships, the Space Shuttle is a testament to human ingenuity. In operation from 1981 through 2011, the ship was part of the Space Shuttle program controlled by NASA, intended to perform human spaceflight. The Space Shuttle was a partially reusable low-Earth orbital spacecraft and was initially tested four times between 1981 and 1982. Through the course of the Shuttle's life and development, five complete vehicles were built by NASA. Over its lifespan, 135 missions were flown, launching from the Kennedy Space Center on Merritt Island, Florida. Although the Space Shuttle is no longer in use, it's been one of the most useful rockets ever built in terms of accomplishments. The Space Shuttle program is responsible for the launching of numerous satellites, probes including research into other planets, as well as the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been vital to astronomy. The Space Shuttle also contributed to the creation of the International Space Station. This incredible rocket has reached a total mission time of 1,322 days. With an original five operational Space Shuttle vehicles, the rocket has become one of the most well-known and well-recognized spaceships in existence. The first shuttle, known as Enterprise, was created out of a modified Boeing plane that had no orbital capability. Afterwards, four fully operational Space Shuttles were built, famously named Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, and Atlantis. Tragically, Columbia and Challenger were both lost in accidents, leading to the deaths of 14 astronauts. Number 2. Soviet N-1 Starting development in October 1965, under a rushed and underfunded operation, the N-1 rocket was a super-heavy lift launch vehicle built by the Soviet Union as a challenger to the U.S.'s state-of-the-art Saturn V rocket. The N-1 was created with the intention of sending Russian astronauts to the moon. While Russia would eventually send crewed missions to the moon on different ships, the N-1 was destined for failure from the beginning. Even today, the first stage of the N-1 technically holds the world record for being the most powerful rocket stage ever created. But all four flight tests of the N-1 first stage failed because of issues with early testing. The lack of test firing has caused plumbing issues and other complex problems to go unrevealed before launch tests. The N-1 rocket was originally created to compete with the United States Apollo program, which eventually landed the first humans on the moon. While the N-1 didn't succeed in the moon landing race, it used a similar method known as Lunar Orbit Rendezvous, in which a main spacecraft and smaller vessel approach the moon's orbit. Once there, the smaller vessel detaches from the main ship and lands on the moon, bringing humans with it. In 1966, the N-1 project suffered a catastrophic setback when its lead designer Sergei Korolev passed away. With Korolev's death as well as four failed attempts at launch, the N-1 project became an infamous failure. Number 1. Delta IV Heavy Built in the United States and operational since January 2004, the Delta IV Heavy is one of the most powerful rockets ever known to mankind and is the most powerful of the Delta family of rockets. This impressive vehicle stands at a height of 236 feet and has a max payload to low Earth orbit of more than 63,000 pounds. The rocket is able to carry an unbelievable 22,000 pounds to the moon and back. Before the creation of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, the Delta IV Heavy was the most powerful rocket in use. Still, the Delta IV Heavy has plenty of impressive features that keep it at the top of the rocket game. The rocket was manufactured by the United Launch Alliance, 
an American launch service provider that has produced a number of large rockets. United Launch Alliance launches the Delta IV Heavy from two stations, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and Vandenberg Air Force Base, primarily on behalf of the United States government. The Delta IV Heavy comes with a set of three cores, including a central CBC unit and two additional CBC units that serve as liquid rocket boosters. Each booster core thrusts at full power during liftoff, decreasing to 55% thrust within 45 seconds of liftoff. With a mass of more than 1.6 million pounds, the Delta IV Heavy is not a cheap rocket to get into orbit. A single launch of this guy costs about $350 million. Watch our Machines playlist for more Top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.